Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to start a new series and that is on MS Excel. So whenever you are opening a MS Excel worksheet, this will be the home page or this will be the front view of on your screen. Now let me guide you about the very basics. So wherever I am moving my cursor, there are of blocks or there are a rectangular box in front of you. Now what this rectangular box means, wherever your cursor is pointing, you can write anything into it, including numbers and alphabet. Or you can write spe special symbols as well. Now, what these cells are called as, let me guide you with the help of pen. This shaded portion, portion is nothing but called as cell in MS Excel. Now, how to name these cells and why? If we want to access the information in the cells or we want to, you can say, create a useful information out of the data put into the cell, we have to uh, come up with a solution that how to name the cell, how to point out the cell. So there is a nomenclature for that. So the way is column name followed by row number. Now what is column name and column number, row number? What exactly I am saying? Let me explain. In MS Excel, there are columns named with alphabets A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and so on. And row numbers are there with digits that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up till infinity matlab that goes on and on and on. Now if I want to name a cell let's say if I want to name this cell its name will be B3. B column third row. Similarly if I want to name this this will be B5. If I want to name this that will be C8. If I want to name this that is I10 this is E12 so this is a basic way of accessing the data or by uh, or naming the cell next thing is let me just clear out the screen first now if I want to write something to a cell let's say I am writing over here Monday okay and I want to write all the days over here then one option is we are writing it manually like Monday Tuesday Wednesday but rather than that just click on the cell and observe over here I'm zooming it for you there is a small green box on the lower right bottom of this cell just click over it drag it and you can extend it Right. Similarly, I can do it like January or you can directly write Jan. Click over here and drag it. So it will give you all the month names. You can do it with digits also. Like if I am writing 98 over here. See, it is copying the cell. Whenever you are dragging something, it will give you two options. Either it will copy it or it will give you the series. If I want to convert it into series, move your cursor over here, click on the, uh, you can say, options, then click the fill series. Here it is. Similarly, you can do it for dates as well. For example, I am writing 9th November. Now, I want to drag it. It's as simple as that. Now understand one thing, it's not necessary that you need to do it from top to bottom. You can do it horizontally as well. That means you can drag this, you can drag this, you can drag this, you can drag this number as well or anything that you are having. You can copy it or you can fill the series as well right so these were the 
very very basic things in ms excel from next lecture onwards we'll move to the formatting and how to write data into the ms excel i hope you get it if you want me to cover some special topic or something that you are not familiar with or you want more explanation over it please put that in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out okay students so now i'm ending this session over here and we'll see you in the next lecture thank you